announced at the stock market review. The Nigerian equities market closed bullish during the week, as the all share index appreciated by 1.51% during the week ended 9th December 2022. This is following the 1.26% growth recorded in the previous week. The benchmark index ASI appreciated by 1.51% from 48,154.65 points recorded as of the end of last week to close the week at 48,881.93 index points, while the market capitalization followed suit to close at 26.625 trillion naira. This brings the month-to-date performance of the Nigerian stock market to 2.5% and a year-to-date gain of 14.43%. A total of 1.225 billion shares valued at 15.243 billion naira were traded during the week across 15,317 deals on the floor of the exchange. This is greater than the 839.978 million units of shares valued at 12.418 billion naira that exchanged hands in the previous week in 16,183 deals. Joining us to make sense of this is Ambrose Omodion, the Chief Research Officer in Data Consulting. He's right here with me in the studio. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Perpetua. All right. I don't know. I'd I like to start with how are your students feeling now <laughs> after <laughs> the classes and everything? You know, you know I mean, it feels uh, uh, like everything you've been talking about, uh, you know, is happening now. They're, they're happy because, you know, in investment, one is to attend training or, you know, anything. One that you must take action. In Nigeria, people are good in learning, but they don't practice what they learn. But I always emphasize on the class that after the class, for you to benefit from the class, take action. And those that took action, even from the life class, I already testified that within the week, they have made almost like some 25, 18%. It's a good news for a week, make 18%, 12%. It's okay for you. And for those that attended the last uh, Invest 2023, well, they are already in for a good because market has really since after the you know, after the class for me, that is why it's good to look for information, go to where they share knowledge, where you have about almost eight experts in the market sharing about you no know, financial market and economy reset in 2023. They have opened their eyes to see opportunity in that because I believe that the recovery we are seeing will extend to the year because politically we're going to see a reset. Economically, already we have started seeing economically already reset. Then when we come with the reforms that will come in 2023, this will sustain the recovery we are seeing so far. All right. So talk to us about what are the factors that shaped uh, what we saw last week in the market. Actually, I would say that uh, what happened last week was as a result of one, investors seen that uh, the end of the year seasonality is around the corner. Prices are also seen relatively at a low price, having high dividend yield. On that note, people are taking position, like I said it here in this program, surrounding that time and price are very, very important. Looking at the price that every asset you are trading anywhere, anywhere in the world, is the movement in that asset price that interests you. Because you want to buy assets at a price that should go up in favor of your expectation. But when it goes to that is where you say, oh, we are in loss. But if you are entering the position that you are seeing that the price to buy is already at a discount, this are relatively low. That means the potential is seeing that the outside potential is higher than the going, uh, going down. Then what you do, you came to the position. And that is what we saw on most of the blue chase companies on the exchange that has been fundamental. We that they are selling at a, money, at a good, va uh, good value that you should take advantage. Even though we are not taking up that capital position, or even looking at dividend yield alone. And that dividend yield, the time, as I said, time and price, it's the dividend that you take to get that um, dividend of between 10 to 14 percent. It's less than five months, less than four months. Then while you are taking other investment money that you want to stay for a whole year, you are trying to see a sustained point. Then where should you be? Should be the in the next four years, four months, you're getting you know, when you say it, it sounds easy. Like, I have shares also, and sometimes when I see you know the markets go up and down, oscillation, and all of that, it affects the percentage really. So, you're making it seem like you always get the positive things all the time. No, the good thing is that companies have declared their dividend for 2021. But oh, I, you're uh, talking about no, 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 that oh if I'm not getting the contract will be a plus and you know that in equity market if results come from a company and that not be a result beat expectation they want to be a reaction to that that's why I say as a trader don't look at people right now look at the chart to see the reaction on the chart is it a positive reaction or negative you see but for those that know that yes if for example now you capture release the result by first week of February and they are declaring a dividend of one eighty kubu I will tell you know the price is at thirteen naira to move to you no know, fifteen naira that two percent plus earlier you have position plus you can go to go. This is why we have different investment objectives. That's why I say don't follow Mr. A because it's in favor. Because he had different person that might be a capital pension person that I'm looking for dividend. When I bought, I, 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 I bought at uh, 12 naira 
and it's going to sustain Naira. I made about 25%. I'm not interested in that dividend of owner. It, it, uh, owner okay. uh, you know, it, 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 you have different investor market is you no know, quite of okay, investors, now, now traders, about. and all in the market, and they have different goals and they have different strategies to invest. That's why I say you must compare your fundamental, your technical at any given market situation to know where the market is and where the economy is, so that it will guide you to take informed investment decision. All right. So as an investor, uh, talking about so the, the different types of investors, those who are interested in capital appreciation and then those who are interested in dividend yield. Are there some kinds of stocks that would give you each of these two, or are there stocks that will give you both? That's a good question. There are some stocks that will give you both. There are some that will give you good dividend yield, but you might not see good capital appreciation. And those are, that is where income investors, you know, um, retirees want to play because those stocks are not too volatile. But for traders like him, I need a volatile stock that go up and down to buy low and sell high, come again and buy again. For those that are you know, in the future now, oh, I want to buy into a company that pay dividend four times in a year. Into the dividend, for example, like Steplat, that will pay me every quarter. They pay me dividend. As a retiree, I don't need to uh, suffer again. I know that when it comes, I want to take off me the next under three months. As a retiree, you want to dividend that sort of give you a dividend for two times in a year. Oh, when I when it comes for uh, the first for, uh, the first half of the year, it's not more. But I know that at the end of the year, I'll get the big one that I'll plan to another. You know, you see, that is why you see income investor are different from traders like me. If I want to buy a store that's selling for fifty kubo, when you move to a six naira. I'm selling for 60, uh, uh, 50 kubo, to 60 kubo, that is almost you know, 10 to 50 percent. I'm, I'm, I'm off. All right. I, I think this is a good place <laughs> to end the conversation. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, sharing your thoughts with us on the show today. Thanks for having me. All right. We've been speaking with Ambrose Amodion, the Chief Research Officer at Invest Data Consulting. We'll take a break now. When we'll come back, we'll bring you more conversation. Stay with us. It is Business Breakfast.